Hello ladies and gents. In the previous video we implemented the view part of the MVC pattern and in this one we will implement the controller part. We need controllers to add additional functionalities to views such as user interactivity. But if the view is just displaying information and no additional functionality is required, we don't have to create a controller for our view. Since we have a button in our view here and we want to implement a press event handler, let's create a new controller for us. And again, we begin by creating a new folder named controller. And inside a new file named app controller.js now the name is again up to us but we need to use the same name as our view and the controller.js part is mandatory so all the controller file names have to end with that controller.js so as for our controller file we begin by defining a ui5 module we begin by sap.ui.define and then you remember the first parameter here is the dependency array and next we get a callback function and inside the function we will define and return our controller first let's set the use strict mode and all the UI5 controllers have to extend the controller class from the core library so in our dependency array let's import that from SAP UI core MVC. It's from the same namespace that we imported our XML view and then controller with a capital C. And now we can create and return our controller. So we say return. Let's also add this to our callback function, of course. Controller.extend and the first parameter here has to be the name of our controller so we begin with the namespace again ui5.product.list.controller the folder we just created and then the file name which is app next we define an object here and in here we can have attributes methods etc and we want to implement an event handler for our button. Let's begin with that. Let's call it on press create new product, which will be a function. No input arguments, and we just want to display a simple message to the user when the button is created. Obviously, later on we will have more logic in here, but for now, let's keep it simple. I will split this into multiple lines. And to display a message, we are going to use another control named message toast. So let's also import that from the M library, SAP M message toast and add it as an argument to our callback function. And the way we use this is on this class we call a method named show and simply provide a message. Let's say new product created. And let's another setting here, which is called at, which basically determines where to display this message toast. And one of the values we can provide is center top. So we want the message to appear at the center and the top of our screen. Let's save this. Now in our app.view.xml file, we also have to do a few adjustments. Starting with adding a new property here, which is called controller name. which will be the path to our controller file separated with dots. So again, we start with the namespace, of course, ui5.product.list and then, oops, I have a typo here. And then the controller folder, then the name of our file is app. 
we can omit the extensions again. And next is we have an event handler function here on press create new product. We have to bind this to our button here. So we can again use the press event here and pass in just the name of our event handler function. Now let's go back to our application. Okay, we have the create new product here and when we click on it, we can see at the top center a message toast which says new product created. So now we also have the controller part of our MEC pattern and we will continue to develop our folder structure more and more in the next videos and I will see you there.